Hello. Would you like a mystery art bagging? Oh, go on then. In fact, we might have a few of these. Why not? Well, this is the first one. This of I don't know how many. We'll see how it goes. I've got a few bags. Hopefully, we'll find something nice. Right, first of all, what is this? It says, white turquoise balances heart bimus and throat chakras. Okay, but where is it? It's on this, but I'm not seeing any turquoise on that, so I'm thinking that that's just something that's caught up on there. So, that's great. Lovely, lovely. I do have my baggies at the ready to put in stuff into two kilogram lots and stuff into other lots as well. Anything that I say, oh, I'll sell that, is something that I will sell separately that if you fancy for yourselves, you can nab. That'll go into a kids lot. Do message me, my email address is down the bottom there. Um, if there's one of those items that you do fancy for yourself, a lot of these will probably go into two kilogram lots. I can see a chain mixed up in this that has got a mark on it. So we could straight, literally, straight out of the bag, have something half decent, which would be amazing because I paid a decent amount for this as well. It is really plum entangled. Okay. All right. Let's. I genuinely think that that says something on there. But let's get it out first. It doesn't have a pendant. It just looks like it's the chain, which is fine. It's a decent looking chain, as long as it's not broken or... Oh, come on. Because it's on a bit of bloody wire jewellery. Wire jewellery. Very similar to Hair Bastards. Where... We get a lot of them, and we wish there was less, but hey-ho. As you can see, I'm on the old background here as well, the blue one, because it's a bigger tray, because some of these bags feel like they've got a lot of littles in them, and not in a good way. Lots of littles as in, yeah, they feel like they're going to be broken, but hey-ho. Come on now. You know you want to. It's coming. It's coming. It's just got a big knot around this one. And then we'll get the loop out. And we'll take a look because I do think this has a strong possibility of being gold. Because, you know, it looks like it, it feels like it, and it quacks like a duck, as the saying goes. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a gold duck. Oh, come on. Sorry about this, folks, but I know some of you like the watching the detangling. I don't. I find it extremely frustrating to watch and also frustrating to do, but we are nearly there. That one there. And then this notage here. Huzzah! Right, what are we thinking, folks? I'm thinking it's a something. Right. Where did I see the thing on there? Yeah, it does indeed say 375. So straight out of the bag, we've got some gold. That's excellent. I shall get the scalages. Three point nine grams of gold. Sweet. That is an excellent start.
Huzzah! We're on camera, right? We'll keep you there. Wow, that's brilliant, isn't it? I'm well chuffed with that. Obviously, that will not be going into a two kilogram lot. <laughs> I'm going to be mad if there were some more now. I don't think this is going to be. Right. Solo earrings shall keep to on one side. That's quite nice though. I like the little cubes coming off there. Um, it has got spring ring clasp. I might put that into a vintage lot. It's kind of fun. I've got lots of mother of pearl beads. They'll go into a two kilogram lot. Over there. Oh, a little careful of um, tie pins I have had ones that have been gold as well that'll go into a like gentleman's -y kind of lot as will that that's not gold that's a little earring i have faux pearl lots as well that'll go in there as will those let's come on now that's got some nice beads on it that's nice iridescent and bead And what are you tangled up with? Tangled up with this long strand of beads. That looks quite interesting. It's got like nice shapes on there, almost like a French knot. But can't unless is that a little matching, little matchy matchy. Oh, we've got a few chains the same there. Look, a little, a little set. That's quite cool. But yeah, they'll still go into vintage lot together. Actually, I'm going to put that a little bit further aside. I don't want it to, I don't want to get it mixed up. Oh, what's that? They look like they might be silver. I will keep that aside to test. Right, all of these I will probably put into, that's a little bit of, yep, that's agate there. I'll probably put into a lot together. I know I haven't detangled it, but you know, I'm gonna leave some fun for someone else. So all of those fabulous beads going into the two kilogram lot. So we can take some more out and take a look. What on earth is that? It's a key ring. Oh look, that's a handy tape measure. That's cool. I'm gonna keep that because um that's you know. That's awesome for like measuring the length of things. Well, hey, I'm quite chuffed with that. Nice one. This has been a good first bag. Get something pretty and something useful. Some more of those. Shells, like a dyed mother of pearl. Look, a hair bastard. It's not quite as bastardy as they can be, but it's certainly on the bastard range this one is a made in france vintage one though fortunately there's nothing particularly exciting on it but i might keep them aside and do like a little lot of vintage hair band um like hair bastardy things if I, if I get enough of them broken stuff i've got a little baggie over there to put things in that one looks a bit too well worn look this is what i mean by a hair bastard look and it's got all of these sticky bits and then all of these bits just gonna hang on to them and they're really annoying but that'll go into a kids lot as well because you know they can wear pretty tiaras if they wanted I've got a little faux pill stretchy this one's got a name la visa What's that? Is it this? Oh, it's this big thing here. Oh, well, there you go. Good for them. And then what's all this on here? I feel like that's a magnet that's doing that. It is indeed. That's quite a nice little charm there, though. Right, all of these, except for that one. So that big spangly one. That's going in two kilos. We have got attached to it one of these stainless steel necklaces. So that's something I will sell separate. And then we've got this, which is kind of cool. 
because it's got French landmarks on it and then for some reason all these like football-y type things. I reckon that might be worth testing for silver. Possibly. But look, Eiffel Tower. Hmm, okay. Well, that's cool. I shall keep that aside. I quite like that one. Ooh, well, I was hoping that might be stone then, but it's not. That's a shame. The more faux pills, for faux pearly lot. Cheers and plastic fantasticness. Oh, that's a big plastic fantastic. No maker on that one. Nice colours together though. I like that marbling on there. That's an earring. And we've got a stretch bracelet. We've got a vintage necklace. Oh. Oh, why couldn't you have been stone? But you are a vintage necklace. <gasps> oh, that's a shame. So these are plastic beads. These ones. Oh no, they are glass. That is rolled gold. Ah, I wonder. These two little drops here, they're really pretty. They're not part of the necklace, but somebody has like hooked them onto it. So we will ignore that for a second because I can take those off later. This is def definitely something I'll sell separately because this is Art Deco. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, this is a brilliant first bag. Oh, I am chuffed with that. We have got gold. We've got that. We've got that. And we've got a tape measure. Oh, I'm, oh that's brilliant. That's my favourite thing. Yes, amazing. This is a brilliant first bag. Thank you so much. Oh, right. What have we got here? We've got some Freedom, which is normally at Top Shop, but it's also in another shop now. I can't remember who. That's quite a snazzy bangle. That looks like it's got all of its stones. It's got a tad of Butler and Wilson look to it, but there's nothing in there. And oh, that's got an earring attached to it. Here we go. Oh, I can hear my sister's downstairs. That I'll obviously put into a kid's lot. This is all plastic as well. A bit of plastic fantastic. Chunkiness. Oh, these pearls are going to go. Right. Let's put that into two kilos. And then I need to take this strand of pearls before it falls apart everywhere. And put them into the craft block. Right. Now that is a bunch of fantastic beads as well. Modern, but it does look like a bit like this side, doesn't it? Quite nice beads, but I'm still going to put them in a two kilo lot because someone will like them. That might be a little bit of silver, a little ear cuff. We'll keep that aside to test as well. Well, that's very sparkly, isn't it? That's quite nice. Are you signed anyone? No, that's a shame. It's got some really pretty yellow stones in there, but that'll go into two kilos. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? A little bit of fringing goes in two kilos. And that's got some fun enamel handbags on it. Also two kilos. Got some kind of hematite style. Um, no, I thought it said something on the clasp then, but it doesn't. That goes in two kilos. That's quite a nice chunky bangle. I quite like that. I know it's just like a uh, not silver bangle, but I do actually quite like that. It's got a bit of a modernist look to it, so I'm going to keep that one aside. I quite like that. So that's something that I might sell separate. Um, got a bit of hair attached. That feels like a faux stone. Like it's not cold or anything. So that'll go in two kilos and it's just attached itself to this lot which is fine because they'll all go in two kilos as well. Here 
we go. Right, there is this vintage necklace. Very autumnal colours. Nice shapes to some of the beads. Those cone shaped ones. That'll go into a vintage lot. And we'll, oh no, that one's broken. That's a shame. That'll go into craft. This I'm pretty sure is a Dorothy Perkins necklace because I think I got one earlier in the month in a job lot. Quite possibly. Anyway, that goes in two kilos and then that's tip out. Not too many littles in this one. Got a little clip on earring. Always check the backs just in case you might find gold and silver, but nothing there though. A little stretch goes in two kilos. Nope, little bar, odd earrings. Another little vintage style chain, there's nothing um, stamped on there. I'll put that with the other chains. feeling for any like hallmarks or anything on the post I don't think so can't see anything I can see the plating rub away on that one though so that's not gold got a little abalone butterfly and a sparkly another stretch a bead that I'll put into a little like Christianity lot and that I'll put into the faux pearly lot. This looks like it might be stainless steel, possibly. Quite an unusual chain, isn't it? Uh, I'll test it just in case, but I think that's probably stainless steel. That's got all its sparkles. That can go in two kilos and another odd earring. Right, so we've got a couple of things to test, which is cool. thinking this is probably going to be steel yeah it doesn't scratch like silver or anything so that'll go into a vintage lot and then we've got two other little things still three other little things to test nope the cuff isn't silver i'll put that in two kilos these little charms might be nope they're not so they're going to go in craft Whatever happens, like this is a cool one anyway, so if it's silver or not, but obviously we would love for it to be silver. I'll test. It doesn't look like it's going to be silver though. Follow that. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe the little balls are. Those bits aren't, but the balls are slightly different. Maybe the charms are put on after. Hmm, that is testing a silver. So, I wonder, somebody added the little charms. Let's try these rings again. See, and then that's coming up as like a brownie color. Right, so that's very strange. It's a whole amalgamation of bits, isn't it? They're not. Right, okay. So it looks like the little balls might be silver. The charm bracelet bit isn't, and neither are the French charms. So that's quite an unusual thing, and neither is that end bit, but it's so similar to that. Very strange, but kind of cool. Anyways, what a great first bag. So I've got the, the Frenchy bracelet, the little bit of gold, the wrap wrap, and most excitingly, I've got the uranium glass. That is absolutely super. Yay! Right, join me next time for another one.